Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And um, this puzzle is related to our Kickstarter project. Uh, Rishi Puri, who is a fantastic um, Indian compiler um, and is one is the compiler of one of the puzzles we've selected for the for the original twenty five in the book. And therefore, we asked um, Rishi for a new puzzle and. The idea he came up with is a rule set I've never seen before or heard of, and I wondered if it was a little bit complicated for the book. Rishi's made a second one of these so we could kind of test it out on the channel, and that's what I'm going to try and do. So I'd love to know if you have a go at the puzzle, or even if you just watch the video, whether you think this rule set is going to be too complicated to include in a new puzzle in the book. Um, that's the simple kind of research going on here today, as well as solving what promises to be an entertaining puzzle, as long as we understand the rules. Now, just before I do that, uh, do have a look at the reward content on Patreon, if you are a patron. Um, for the month as well, there is also the very hard Ghostbuster puzzle that we posted on the community tab lately and um, lots going on discord as usual but let's have a look at Rishi's puzzle and the rule set is this now these these gray squares and these arrows are related and this is a form of arrow sudoku but the arrows are not like you would normally see in that kind of puzzle now the way the rules work are whatever number appears in the gray cell in a row, and you'll note there's only one in each of rows one to eight, that number appears on the arrow in the next row and is like the number in a circle for an arrow Sudoku. So it's the total of a string of digits pointing in the direction given by the arrow for the number of cells given by the cell on the right of the gray cell. Now that's complicated but for instance if this was 8 and 2 what that would be saying is that 8 would be on the arrow and would be the sum of the two cells in the direction it's pointing so those two cells would add up to 8 and we kind of have to work with these possibilities and restrictions and the arrow and the sorry the gray cell and the cell after it always refer to the next row's arrow where the arrow will be the sum and the cells it's pointing at the number given there will be the um, digits making up that sum so when we get down here to the bottom the bottom gray cell for instance this number will appear there and this number will be added up to by the number of cells appearing in this cell. So if that's a 1 or a 2, actually it's unlikely to be a 5 or a 6, um, which would be along there, but 1 or a 2 will add up those two. 2 would add up those two cells, 1 would just add up that one. So that's the rules. I let You know, you could almost let me know now if you think it's too complicated, but I'm going to have a go at the puzzle see how we get on with it. It's new to all of us, I think. So uh, thanks to Rishi for inventing this. And let's see how it goes. Um, give it a try on the link below the video. Um, but I'm going to try it now. So let's get cracking. Um, yeah, some of these arrows are pointing to very few cells. So this arrow can only be adding that one cell. And that means that the number it's going to be the same as that number and it's only going to go for one cell so we can fill in a one there and in fact it might be worth coloring these they're all going to be the same I mean I think I can remember this gray pattern so I don't want to mess that up too badly but let's color those orange they all have to be yeah I can still just see the arrow they all have to be the same because that number is going to appear there. It's going to add up that one cell. So they must all be the same. So one of these could be orange, or actually the six could be orange. We don't really know. Now, let's... We're going to get other relationships. Now, yeah, this is great. 
because this cell is going to add up, well, it's going to be the same as this number, which is adding up either one or two cells there. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to determine this number, but I can't. That's one or two. Let's make those green. Um, then this number is going to be in this arrow. Ah, well, that tells us, like, whatever number it is, let's just pick six. If that was a six, that has to appear in that cell. And that cell is adding numbers in that direction till it gets to six. So obviously, it's just adding that one cell. So whatever number that was, those two are the same. Let's color them blue. Um, and this cell is the same as this one. Ah, yes. Now, this could only possibly add a maximum of three cells in a row, because if you add the minimum four cells, you get to 10. So this has to be one, two, or three. And we can see now it can't be one or three. So that's two. This number is the same as this one. Let's make them yellow. It's adding those two cells. Um, that doesn't mean I know what it is, unfortunately, but yeah, let's go back up near the top of the grid. Uh, this one is pointing downwards. So again, this has to be one. No, it can't be one. It's got to be two or three. So it can't be four or more because you can't add four cells in the same row and only get to a single digit. Um, the reason it can't be one is because those two cells would have to be exactly the same, which would break normal Sudoku rules. So that is a two or a three. It's either adding those two or that little number as well. Now, I don't know which it is, but again, those two are the same color. I am going to run out of colors. Um, what am I going to do about that? Shall I? Yeah, I'll cycle some of the, I don't know. I don't want to cycle the colors. Um, Anyway, let's have a look at this. It has to be the same as this, but how many are? Oh, how many cells is it adding? Well, the maximum this can be is nine, and it can't even be nine because it's got to be the same as this, and that can't be nine. So it's actually one, five, seven, or eight, which makes this one, five, seven, or eight. Actually, I could do a lot more limiting on some of the other ones. I'll do that in a moment. Um, now, if it was eight, that could be a two here, a two and a three here, three, five, seven, and a one here. That does look possible. So it could be any, adding anywhere from one to four cells, which isn't all that helpful. Um, let's just have a look at this gray cell, which will, oh, which will be the same as this gray cell, and therefore, that's a really easy one. That is a one here. And these two are the same color as each other. Actually, so is this one because that's a gray cell as well as an arrow. So it's going to be the same as the arrow in the next row. So, oh, have I used everything? That's so irritating. Well, I'm going to go blue again and hope we get something disambiguated. So this blue set up here don't have to be the same as this blue pair down here. But if I was on paper, I'd call them sort of A, B or C. I'd put a little label in the cell. But anyway, now, yeah, that is the same as that is the same as that. Now, how many, are, how many cells is this counting? This can't be nine or six. Actually, they're all the same. So this number can't be nine or one because they see that cell, six, two or three, which will see that, four, which sees that. So they're five, seven or eight. Oops, five, seven or eight. And that's an easy addition to get the one, obviously. Now this one, Ah, oh, it can't go all the way down and pick up that cell because that would be at least nine. Five there, one, two, one would make nine. So three is the maximum number of cells. So that makes this, ah, oh, two or three. So it does include the green arrow. So blue is definitely more than 
green. Green can't be one or three. And it's got to be included in the blue sum, which is at least two. So two, four, or six. This can also see three, five, and seven. Oh, and this can see four. So it's two or six in the green. Um, oh, it can't be two. If that was two, this would be one. And that would mean this two would be adding one cell, which would be a two here, and that would clash with that. So this green is six. We've done it. So I tell you what, I'm going to get rid of the green color, and I'm going to use the green color up there for that group of cells. The five, seven, or eight, which clearly aren't the same. Yeah, it's very important to remember. Oh, what have I got? Yes, that is back to grey. It's very important to remember as I do these colours that they could be the same as other colours. I'm just doing banded numbers. So, I mean, what I'm saying is that the greens could be five and so could these oranges. They could also be five. Now, five, seven or eight. None of them are ruled out. Ah, oh, yes, that is adding up at least two cells including the six. Now it's tempting to think that it must... Oh, this can't be a two because there's a two in the box. So that's a one. It's What's tempting is to think that green is now seven and must be adding those two, but actually this could be one as well. So it might be adding three cells and making eight, but green is definitely not five. Is green, green can't be eight either for this reason. By Sudoku, if those two were eight, this would have to be eight. Orange can't be eight because that one would have to be eight. And it clashes with both those. So green is seven. Let us remove the color from those cells. Two of them go back to gray. Now, one of these is a seven, a bit of regular Sudoku. It's quite, it's quite a strange puzzle in terms of how you have to think about it. It's absolutely not what I was expecting. Ah, that seven is adding two cells to make its total. So that becomes a two. Ooh, what's happened to the color? Sorry about that. There we go. The brightness, I accidentally hit the wrong key. Um, now, sevens. So this orange cell, what can this be? Oh yes, I said I would have a look at these cells and work out what they can be. These oranges are all the same. Now this one sees one, two, three, four, seven, nine. This one sees six. So they're either five or eight. That's all that's left. Um, and they're just very unhelpful. I oh, know that one Oh yes, this six is in that arrow, sorry, I'm getting confused with what the rules mean. And that is the worry about this puzzle. Right, regular Sudoku, two and a two there. So this is now a two. So this six is adding two cells to make six. And they can't be four, two because of that four. So they're one, five. Right, um, does that five see any of these oranges? No. It does see this yellow, though, obviously. Oh, well, we need five, couldn't be yellow. Um, what can this be, though? Same as this number. So it's not five, one, two, four, or seven. That can see two. This can see one, five, four, or seven. So it's three, six, eight, or nine. I am not going to weary you by suggesting it could be three, which would have to be one and two there. Um, if it was six, it would be two and four. If it was eight, can't be one and seven or three and five, it would be two and six. If it was nine though, ah, it can't be three and six or five and four, it would be two and seven. 
So I don't know what this number is or this one, but I've suddenly found that this one is a two. How peculiar. Right, regular Sudoku. Oh, puts a two there. The one in row eight must be here, which doesn't help anything else. Although, hmm, could this be one? No, this can't be one. Because for that to add one, it would need to add that cell, which can't be a one. So that's nonsense. So once that's not a one in the gray, which actually I could now use green for, because that would help a bit. Oh, I never used purple, the more. Right, <laughs> one in column one has to be here. Um, now, that means we've got a one somewhere there. Oh no, look, we can place the one in box six and one up there, right. So that's all the ones placed are ah, now. This number, the red, is adding, still don't know if it's two or three cells. Oh, that can't be one anymore. But it's either, this is, this one is three, five, six, or eight. No, that's not actually all that helpful. And I don't know whether from adding two or three cells. Now this one stopped being able to be one, so, this arrow, which is five, seven, or eight, is adding two, three, or four cells. Well, it can't be five because you can't make that a three or that a one. So five is ruled out. This one is seven or eight, and it can't be seven. Sorry, I just spotted the seven in the box. So that's eight, and it can't be six, two, so that's not a two. So it, it could still be adding four cells if it was two, two, three, one. If it was three cells, can't be one, two, five. Can't be two, two, four, because that one can't be a four. And it can't be three, two, three, because that one can't be a three. So it is definitely adding all four cells. Good Lord, that's a four. This is two, and that is three. And now, what about this one? Now this can't be eight, four, seven. Okay, this can't be eight or three, which is in the same row. So that's five or six. Still don't know if this is telling me to add two or three cells down here. So this could be six, seven, or nine. Uh, six, seven, or nine clearly can't be seven. So we can rule that out. So it's six or nine, it's either one, five, or one, six, two. And I don't know the answer. Okay, interesting. Have we got this five or eight down? No, not really. Right, I can place a three in this box though. That has to be there by normal, boring old Sudoku. Five, five six, or eight here. Uh, five or six here, five, six, or eight here. These blues, I mean, I don't know what they're likely to be. Ah, oh, these yellows, surely something's been ruled out from six, eight, or nine. No, oh yes, yeah, six can't be there anymore. So that can't be eight, and that can't be eight. Six and six. Six is in one of these two cells in the box. That's five or nine. Ah, oh, look, five's in this box. Yes, that's a five, the only place it can be in column one. These are a seven, nine pair now. That makes this a six. That makes this a four. Yellow is six. Still doesn't tell me what orange is. What does it? What's that arrow cell? I oh, know it's the gray cell. No, I don't think it does. Right, um, this has to be eight now though. Ah, and that tells me what orange is. Orange is five, right. So everything but red and blue are done. So I'm gonna take out my color markings in the other cells. Just got these reds, which are six or nine. 
Is there some way I've worked that out? No, I don't think there is. And these blues, which just have to be the same as each other. I don't think that's easy to see. Ah, these, this box is finished. That's six and eight, nine there. Nine, eight and four. That must be nine. Then we're left with an eight, four pair. Um, five must be here in box four. Another four, eight pair R, ah, which is resolved by that four. Excellent. So boxes four, five, and six suddenly completely done. And that six has determined the number for red, which is a nine. That means it's adding those three cells, so that becomes a three. Six and two in box one. Now I think we are finishing off. Four, two, eight, six, one, five. Oh no, what have we got? Five and eight to place in column four. That eight was helpful there. That, amongst other things, has sorted out that six. Five there, seven there. Sorry if you've seen some of these things before me, but I'm trying to be as methodical as I can going around. I can only look at one thing at a time. Eight there. Three there, seven and nine to fill in here. Uh, yeah, that's the seven naked single, and that tells us finally what blue is. Let's get rid of the last bits of added color. And nine, three, four, and we can finish off with a nine and a seven there. Hit the check button to see we haven't made any mistakes with the ordinary Sudoku part now. Eight is added up in four cells, yes. Nine is added up in three cells, yes. Seven in one, yes. Seven in two, yes. Five in one, yes. Six in two, yes. Seven in one, and that six says two cells, yeah. So there we go, lovely puzzle that. Um, I mean, I think that works really well in terms of once you've got your head around what the instructions mean, the solve works very nicely. I mean, there's some very elegant um, backtracking into things that you've used before and the coloring of the grid helps. As I say, there are ways of doing that on paper. I'm just not sure whether it's too hard to understand from the beginning or off-putting in some way. Do let me know what you think. Um, we'll be very interested indeed in your response. And uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.